Hello, and welcome back to Dear Teen Diary. I have tea. November 25th, 2001. Dear Diary, today I found out Tom is still addicted to cocaine. For the past four or five months, he's been doing it. After quitting a past long addiction with other things. Lately, he says he's been doing it every other day, just enough to take the edge off. I'm really worried about Tom. He has a heart condition that I think is getting worse. He's suicidal, he hasn't slept in over a week, and I think it might be going downhill. Today when he told me, he said he just flushed a stash worth over $200. I love Tom so much already, I would kill myself if he died. I think out of all of the people I know, he deserves to have his life straightened out the most. He doesn't even realize how handsome he actually is or how much I really do respect him. I just wish I knew what's lies and what's not. Before he had told me he lives in a big ass house, and now I think he's in apartments. All I want is for him to be around for the rest of my life. Why should he die before any of the rest of us? Why would he want to kill himself? I think he means more to me than he does to himself. I feel like there must be something I did that maybe made everything worse for him. He's worth so much more than he thinks. I die for him to assure a good and long happy life for him. He says he has lots of flaws. The only ones I can see is his addiction and that he has no self-worth. Today, when I was with him, it was just so right. I know he's better for me than Ben. I look past Tom's so-called flaws and I see a real person in his cold eyes. As a matter of fact, today, his eyes, dot, 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 when I looked into them, they weren't at all cold. They were just jaded. I made a promise to myself before he came over that I wouldn't let myself kiss him when I looked into his eyes. And believe me, I would have. I just want to hold him close to me and tell him it's all going to be okay. I don't feel sorry for him. I know he's as capable as ever. I just want him to say it back when I tell him it's going to be okay. I heard his heartbeat today. I used him as a teddy bear for just a second. When I heard his heart, it scared me. I pulled away. First thing in my mind was his heart condition. Second thing, how good it felt to be there. His heartbeat so strong, his chest warm, his face calm. I want to cry so badly. Cry for him and his pain and troubles. Cry for myself too, in my confusion. I don't want him to think I feel sorry for him because that's not it. I'm scared scared shitless, and I just want him to promise me it'll all be okay. Oh my god, Greta, no! All of Tom's things that he says are lies. <laughs> it's so sad because I remember being so wrapped up and caring so strongly about Tom. He was a year older than me, he seemed so cool. I just was like, you have all these awesome, cool life experiences. I haven't mentioned it in here yet. I don't think I will because I think this was pretty early on in our friendship, which was one of the first things that I started to question him about, is he said that he was in the remake of some movie and like a movie production that had been released that he had been like the little kid in the reenactment of some 
movie like Poltergeist or something. It was it was a, it was a scary movie, and he was like, "Oh yeah, but you know, it didn't take off, so it's really hard to find. Like, they're still out there on VHS, but." I, I think I have some footage somewhere of me, like, you know, behind the scenes, like, home movie stuff, where I'm getting my makeup done when I was, you know, little, and I told this to my mother, and my father was in the room, too, and they were like, oh, really? And I was like, yes, really? Of course. Why would Tom lie to me? And they were like, well, Greta? And I remember my mother saying something to the tune of, I'm not going to say that he is lying to you, but I think that you should fact check this and try to find this movie that he claims he was in and I got on the internet that night in the living room I searched I tried every combination of keywords I tried his name I tried Thomas Tom I will just say that it was poltergeist like poltergeist remake like he told me how old he had been and I knew how old he was so I was like trying within those few years like 1989 1990 remake and it was just nowhere. And it was when I told him that I, I was like, you know, you told me about this movie. I can't find any trace of it anywhere that he said he had some home footage or something that he was. He's like, I, I know I have a VHS somewhere, but I don't know how long it'll take me to find it. Because I have no idea where it is. We've moved a whole lot. But I definitely have this home footage that I can dig up pretty fast and I can show it to you. And I was like, good, do that. Because... My my mom, you know, they don't believe you, and I was so offended that they didn't trust my friend, and that they didn't trust my judgment in my friend, and they were right. <sighs> I do not doubt myself when I say that I would kill myself to ensure him a long and happy life, because when I care, I care super, super hard about people. And there have been many times in my life in which it turned out that those people did not deserve all of the care that I had for them, but they took it anyway and then went on their merry, merry way. I can't wait till we're done talking about Tom because he's a terrible person. Maybe I shouldn't be giving away that much, but at least I'm getting one of my favorite things in this entry, which is fraught romantic tension and intense but unfulfilled sexual desire that's like my jam like if I'm like this close to kissing someone I'm just like uh uh that like will we won't we we mustn't but I must feeling that like all that building and piping up inside of you and the tingling and the awareness in that moment and how intense it feels that is like what I live for, which is funny that I eventually got married because that, that very feeling and my near addiction to it is why I thought I was going to be doomed to a life of trolloping. Uh, anyway, we're going to end it there for today. Uh, thank you for joining me for this episode of Dear Teen Diary. Um, you should like this video if you, uh, hate pathological liars and you should subscribe to my channel i'm gonna have a link to the last entry and a link to the next entry and go have a lovely cup of tea Ooh. i'm sharing